So today I'm standing in the middle of a very large uh, bed and one of three tiered beds of Gunnera manicata or the giant rhubarb or giant gonorrhea as my children used to call them. These are huge rhizomes um, which are currently dormant and very easily moved. At this time of the year you can see they're just coming back into leaf. The reason for talking about them is that suddenly the RHS and DEFRA in their wisdom have decided to ban this plant and say that it's an invasive plant and we can't grow it and we can't sell it at Burnkoos Nurseries and I wanted you just to understand their logic because there isn't much logic to it. These Gunnera beds here were planted in 1902 it's thought that Gunnera manicata was imported from Brazil about 150 years ago. This Gunnera bed here is replicated by an even larger one at Heligan, which was put in at about the same time, around about 1902 to 1905. Nowhere have these Gunnera invaded anything. Nowhere have they jumped out into the rivers, into the streams. Nowhere have they invaded anything or anybody. They've minded their own business here for 120 odd years and done nothing to nobody. So why is it that DEFRA and the RHS suddenly don't like Gunnera? In 2015 the RHS approached us and said do you have any ancient Gunnera manicata beds and we said yes we do and they said we would like to take samples from them and from lots of other gunners all around the country and see uh, whether indeed they're Brazilian and how long they've been with us and all that sort of thing. Nine years later we're told they're banned and the reason for the ban is that the scientific community now believe this is not Gunnera manicata but somewhere 150 years ago Gunnera manicata crossed with Gunnera tinctoria Apparently this occurred not in Brazil but here in the UK or in Europe and that in reality what we are growing is not Gunnera manicata at all but a hybrid. And the hybrid has been given a new, a new name to identify it um, and Gunnera tinctoria, the, uh, apparently one of the parents in this hybrid has been deemed for some time to be invasive and has been banned. Under what is undoubtedly European legislation regarding plant health, any hybrid from a species um, which has been banned, which this apparently now is, is also banned, even though the RHS admits quite openly, quite clearly, that they accept also that it's not invasive. So I'm thinking back um, over four decades at Burnkoos Nurseries to how many of these Gunnera manicata have we actually sold through the nursery. And I suspect it's probably about 20 to 50 a year. Uh, that's a hell of a lot of Gunnera which have gone out into other people's gardens. And they're now banned and, and as an invasive plant. So what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to dig them all up and burn them? No, say the RHS. No, no, that's quite okay. We accept they're not invasive, so you can leave them where they are, but uh, when the leaves die down, as you can see them dying down here, you should take the leaves to your local uh, waste disposal uh, facility offered by your local council. Going to be quite a big job, isn't it, taking these leaves all that way there? What's the point of taking the leaves anywhere? It, it, it's not the leaves that are invasive is presumably the, the seeds, uh, which by then will long since have shed. So we're not allowed to sell the plant, but actually we don't have to destroy the plants that are still in our gardens. They can carry on and look as beautiful as they always have and provide shelter to our visitors when it's raining who can get in underneath the huge leaves. But surely this is a piece of absolute madness uh, created to annoy all gardeners with a piece of absurdity which is no doubt European legislation and should have been abolished years ago.